Hello everyone, my name is Fajar Purnama and on this video I'm going to do another video about the common investment which is most popularly known by the by the people today so one of the famous one is the government bond which is I categorize as a fiat investment and here since I'm in, in, in Indonesia I'll be doing an Indonesian government bond previously I was doing how to invest in government bond through internet and mobile banking this time I'll be doing how to invest through a broker and after this video I'll be one short which is the last topic that I know which is about investing into stocks or trading stocks and so ever and after this I will not do this fiat current this fiat investment or common investment video for a long time I'll be taking a long break so please enjoy this last one for a while and you can contact me on my social link on the left and since this one is about banks fiat currency government and so ever so my donation will be on paypal or my yahoo gmail or you can directly via transfer to my bank account now let's start as usual i would like to play a free music on youtube and i'm going to give a recommendation of who should invest in government bond if you fit into this category then you should invest in government bond so number one if oh I already made a spelling mistake so number one if you love your country number two if you trust your government and if you want to contribute to your country and government and at least one hundred dollars in Indonesia that is then yeah, it is recommended that you invest in government bond so a government, a government bond or a sovereign bond is a bond issued by national government generally with a promise to pay periodic interest payments called coupon payments and to repay the face value on the maturity date the aim of the government bond is to support government spending and this time I'll be doing investing in the coupon called SBR 007 which is around 7 something 7% 7 7.75 and the maturity date is 10 July 2021 so the minimum of investment and which I did is 1 million rupiah which is $100 to calculate your profit your earnings or profit first uh, find the 7.5% of $100 that is your profit your interest a year but you have to um, by 15% of tax and per month you will get around 5,000 rupiah and how much is that? 50 cents a month yes 50 cents or 6 or 40 okay so now that I have done the introduction let's do with the technical And here, uh, my friend gave me a video 
because I already did and I forgot to make a video so she gave me a video and this is how you go how you do it so first you go to the to your broker website max.miraset.co.id and then and then what what else okay here I missed the part go to product and go to obligation retail which is in English government bond if I'm correct I do have the English video it's this one right yes it's this one here I want to change okay now oh, here it is I change it to English oh, but it's still the same so only the, um, the heading change so by the way just go to the obligas retail government bond and then you can read everything here then you can just buy and that is it so let's go back to the previous video which is this one and while i talk you can just read you can just watch so going to a broker for me is actually harder than investing through a bank because a broker it doesn't have much branch for example in Indonesia this Mira asset is only in the capital city in Jakarta so you have to go to Jakarta or you have to had to contact yeah I don't know uh, long distance and then you have to send mails like send papers back and forth which actually costs more than you think while well, about banks since a lot of branch are available in each every part of the country so you just need to go to your local bank and ask to open an account and have a single investor ID created then you can um, then you can do the mobile banking or internet banking and stuff to your mobile phone or to internet like this so the difference is like the banks is near to your place while the broker is only have one or two branch or I hope there is more so it's quite a distance if it's not near your place so this one is a bit harder but the advantage of but the advantage of going through a broker is that a broker usually a broker usually have much more product than the bank okay now this is so I have to log in eh? okay isn't there no I went to the wrong website it's supposed to be max mira asset now here it is so but the advantage of signing up into a broker let's, and let's make this english is that they offer more product 
for the government bond is the same as the bank because it's by the government but in my data broker they have a whole lot of mutual funds to choose and okay you, the, this is the investment management list so this one is only mutual funds they have okay they have the money market type the fixed income balance equity and there is a sharia and there is a lot more lot lot of more of mutual fund to choose and these are their performance and the type and also in the broker you not on this website but probably on another an application it, it is here where you can buy some stocks and the list of stocks in Indonesia is okay you can search but either way you can buy stocks on the broker so that is the advantage but if you want to just go for a government bond only government bond I don't recommend to go to a broker but a bank which is much easier so that is it for my for my video so if you want to donate you can donate on this paypal in my bank and you can contact me on the social video on the left and see you again